Hey everybody, it's the Burger Dude, and today I want to show you how I make vegan orange chicken. We're going to do it traditional style as well as put it in some sandwiches and some burgers. So let's get the chicken going. I'm going to use these Gardein chicken strips, but of course you can also use tofu if you like. Just make sure you freeze it and thaw it twice and then press it and then tear off chunks in bite-sized pieces. But since we are using the gardening today, I'm gonna to go ahead and let them thaw out on a wire rack for about a half an hour or so. Just make sure you don't microwave them because you'll start cooking them and they'll get hard and you won't be able to shape them into little balls. Once they've thawed out, go ahead and fill a pot with some oil and heat that up to 375. I highly recommend one of these deep fry thermometers. They will just make your life a lot easier. And while the oil's heating up, we're gonna go ahead and shape these into bite-sized pieces, not unlike the kind that you would get at a place like Panda Express. Go ahead and do that up. There you go, that's what they should look like. And now we're gonna get our dredging station together. So we're gonna start off with our dry. We got some flour, we got some cornstarch, and then we're gonna do some seasoning. We've got this all-purpose seasoning. I'm using the spike stuff. It's pretty good. And then we also got some Chinese five spice. This adds a nice little subtle flavor if you just use a little bit like I did. Go ahead and whisk that together. And then don't forget your baking powder like I did. So add some baking powder. It's very important for the texture when you fry it up. And now we got some wet. We're gonna start off with some plant milk followed by some apple cider vinegar. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of sriracha. I like this stuff by Yellowbird. Give it a healthy squirt of that stuff. And then go ahead and whisk it up. Let that sit to get thickened. It's a vegan buttermilk, basically. It's gonna help everything stick to the chicken. And once your temperature is up to 375 like that, it's time to dredge them. So go ahead and hit the wet with it, shake it off, and try and use alternating hands like I'm doing here. That way you don't get as much of it sticking to your fingers, which is a problem that I have often, but miraculously I did it the correct way on this video. So just double dredge it, make sure you get the flour all nice and coated all over there and shake off the excess. And then go ahead and add it to your pan carefully. And I would typically put about four or five of these little guys in there. Uh, don't want to crowd the pan because you might bring the temperature down. So I found that doing about four at a time kept the temperature at around 375 the entire time. And they will cook up because they're smaller. They'll cook up in about two or three minutes or so. Once they look golden brown like that, go ahead and remove them and give them a good shake. Get all that excess oil off of them. I highly recommend one of these, uh, I guess they're called spider slotted spoons. Very, very good for frying. Go ahead and let them rest on a rack and then add them to your oven and set your oven to the lowest setting. Mine went to 170 degrees and that's just gonna keep them nice and warm while we make our sauce. And you could be lazy and use some pre-made orange sauce, but we're not quite that lazy here at the Burger Dude, so we're gonna make some from scratch. We've got some oil that we've heated up and we're gonna add some red pepper flakes followed by some garlic powder and some ginger powder. And of course you could use fresh ginger and fresh garlic if you like, but I am a little bit lazy today, so I just use the powders. And go ahead and toast those spices for a minute or two, whisk it all together. And then we're gonna add in our orange juice, freshly squeezed if you like, or again, if you're lazy like me, just go ahead and get some store-bought stuff. I'm adding some agave. You could also add maple syrup or some white sugar, some lemon juice and then go ahead and give that a good whisk. And then next up, we're gonna add some rice vinegar and some white vinegar. And then of course, a good healthy squirt of the sriracha once again. And then next up, we're gonna use some optional ingredients, but highly recommended. I'm adding some hoisin sauce, which is gonna add some nice flavor, as well as this Chinese hot mustard, which is gonna add a little bit of mustard and a little bit of spice naturally, but it's not gonna be too overpowering with the mustard. And I love this stuff. I just kind of discovered it somehow. I love adding it to mayonnaise to make kind of a mustard aise or a mayo mustard, whatever you want to call it, but it's super good. And next up, we're going to add some cornstarch and some water, and this is going to help thicken it up and give that a whisk as well. And I feel a little bit like a dumb dumb because I forgot one of the most important ingredients here because I gave it a good taste and I realized it was missing some soy sauce, which you really can't do an orange sauce without soy sauce. 
So don't forget the soy sauce, mix that in, and you're just gonna let this reduce and you know, give it a good taste. Make sure if it's not sweet enough for you, add some more orange juice or some more sugar. If it needs more salt, add more soy sauce, more heat, add more sriracha. You get the idea. But basically you just wanna reduce it down. And once it's down to a kind of a, not quite syrup, but it's kind of a, a loose syrup, if that's a good descriptive term, probably not, but you can see what it looks like here. And uh, go ahead and get all of your chicken pieces nice and coated. And once that's done up, you can do it up with some white rice. It's very nice and traditional and hits the spot, but we can also make some sub sandwiches because I've realized I've never seen an orange chicken sub. It's kind of like a meatball sub, but orange chicken. And if you want to make that sauce, it's literally just some vegan mayo and rice vinegar. And then go ahead and slather it on top of an orange chicken sandwich because Lord knows I've never seen an orange chicken sandwich. And I'm guessing you probably haven't either. And if you haven't, well, what are you doing, Buster? Go make it.